making up a power cable for the industrial section DC power supply. So this part of the cable will plug into the wall. The other end of this cable, obviously it'll be trimmed for length, it'll go to my switch on my fascia. And then from the switch, cable will run to the power supply. All right, got this end of the cable ready to plug into the wall. Now I'll cut it to length and run it to the switch on the fascia. You know, it'll terminate out here somewhere when I put this panel in place. You can see where the power cable runs along the bench work. It goes to the switch. And then the other side, the switch, runs down underneath to an outlet. Well, this is a brand new power supply. And there's a 5 volt adjustment right here. So I'm going to adjust the 5 volt supply. And I'll have to check between the 5 volt and the 12 volt. Because oftentimes there's an interaction between the two. So let me go ahead and plug this in. All right, and you can see the 5 volt supply is 5.043 volts. So what I want to do now is I want to check the 12 volt supply. All right, my 12 volt supply is 11.97. I'm going to make an adjustment on the 5 volt supply and see if it changes the 12 volt. And it does which is not, not uncommon. All right, so I got 12 volts out, and I want to have 12 volts out, at least 12 volts out of that supply for my Digitrax DS74s. So I got 12.01 volts. So I can live with that. My 12 volt supply is at 12 volts. My 5 volt supply is 5.064. Well, the DS74s are all on. Got the green lights. So now I'm going to do a little bit of function testing before I mount the panel. All right, so everything powered up. Got some temporary switches and temporary power wires to the tortoise machine. So now I'll go and check it all, make sure everything is working. And once that's done, I can mount the panel underneath the bench work. All right, I have the panel mounted for the industrial section and for the scenic section. So now it's time to start running some wires. I think the first thing I'll run is the power cable for the power supply and then I'll start wiring up the tortoise machines. Well I have the DC panel installed and I have the tortoise switch machines wired up. I don't have the LEDs wired up yet. Well, with everything wired up, might as well give it a try. Turn on the power to the DC power panel. See the power supply is on. The DS74s are on. But everything's working like it should. 
And I have the switches in order of the turnouts. Industrial section wiring is finished for the track bus, the LEDs, and the frogs. The DC panel for the industrial section and the scenic section is done, and it's fully wired. The switch LEDs for the scenic section are wired. Switches are wired. And when the switches are thrown, you know, the LEDs change from green to red for the diverging route. And that's true for all the switches. The frogs have all been checked. For instance, this, this frog is on the B rail. Which it is. And if I switch this, frog is now on the A rail. Which it is. And that holds true for the rest of the frogs. Both DC panels are built, so that's done for the layout. I don't have to construct any more DC panels. The DC wiring has been run to the scenic section, and all the DC wiring is run in the peninsula and the industrial section. Well, I think that does it for this one. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time.